So here's my off-grid solar setup. We've got four key things in this. We've got the solar panels on the roof. We've got the charge controller here, and that regulates the charge going into this Tesla battery here. And this Tesla battery then outputs DC voltage into this inverter. And this inverter turns that voltage into AC voltage for the house, and it will take it through this wire into the house through this plug socket. So I'm just going to go through these things in a little bit more detail now. First we have the solar panels on the roof. And the power from them goes down into the room through these wires here. And it comes into the house through this little vent here. And along this wire into the charge controller. Now this charge controller is very important because this stops the battery from overcharging. The battery can go up to 25.2 volts and it can go down to 18 volts, but you mustn't charge it at over 25.2 volts. So I've actually got this charge controller limiting that charge to 24.8 volts. And that makes sure this battery will never be overcharged. And actually charging it slightly below that full charge extends its life even further. So this will last for thousands of cycles. Then I've got a couple of meters in here. This meter here, shows the amount of charge going into the battery. So it shows the current going in and it also shows the voltage of the battery. Then I've got a second meter here, which shows the amount of current coming out of the battery and into this inverter. So just a little bit more information on the battery. This is a 5.3 kilowatt hour Tesla battery. And that can go from between 18 volts and 25.2 volts. It comes out of a Model S Tesla car. It's one of the 16 batteries in there. So you have a 16th of the power of a Tesla car just here, and that's what we use to power the house. Then you've somehow got to turn that electricity from this into the electricity for a house. And that's what this inverter does. This is a 24 volt pure sine wave, 3000 to 6000 watt inverter. So it'll do 3000 watts continuous power, and it can do up to 6000 watts in short bursts. And the point of this inverter is it turns the voltage from the battery into voltage for the house. So the battery can go between 18 and 25.2 volts. But the voltage for the house needs to be 230 volts AC. So this will convert anything from 18.5 volts to 30 volts into 230 volts AC. And this is important that it actually cuts off at 18.5 volts. So that makes sure that the battery is never over discharged. So you have the charge controller preventing it from being overcharged and this prevents it from being over discharged. And then as I showed in a different video, we've got the balancer here, which balances the six groups of cells in this Tesla battery and makes sure that they're all exactly at the same charge. And that means that none of these groups of cells will be overcharged. And so coming out of this, we have 230 volts AC it will be shown by this meter exactly how much power is going out. And we'll just plug this in here. But the first thing we have to do is isolate the house. So I'm going to isolate the house now by turning it off from the mains. And that will mean that the house is no longer connected to the mains electricity. And it's its own enclosed system. So this is the fuse box under the stairs. And this is what I use to isolate the house from the grid electricity outside. So I just flick this main switch here and that will cut off the electricity from coming into the house and you'll see the lights go off. So now the house is isolated from the grid outside and it's just its own enclosed system. And you can see this light's no longer on. So what I'll do now is plug the inverter in to the mains through here and then I'll switch the inverter on and then we will have the house being powered by the electricity coming from this battery. So we plug this in here. Now this is still not on at the moment, so none of this is live. Plug this in here. We've got the switch turned on here, which means that when the electricity comes in, it will go into here. And now all I do is turn the inverter on, and you should see this lamp light up. And in fact, the lights in the room come on as well. So we've now got this battery through this inverter powering the whole of the house. And this when it updates, we'll show you how much power we're using. It's 107 watts at the moment. And this meter shows how much power is going into the inverter at the moment. 
which is about 115 watts. So there's about 8 watts being lost in the inverter, which is completely normal. So those are the four things that you need to make a solar setup that powers your house. You need the solar panels on the roof, you need the charge controller to prevent overcharging of the battery, then you need the inverter that turns the power from the battery into the power from the house, and that also prevents over discharging of the battery. And I should also mention that this wire here going into the house has a couple of 13 amp fuses on it, and that'll go up to about 3000 watts. So that should be plenty for powering most of the house, and it's actually the output of this inverter as well. And crucially, it shouldn't put too much power through these plug sockets, and so it shouldn't be any hazard to the house. So for the next video, I'm going to show you powering some household appliances from this. We'll start off with this ice maker, and then we'll also show a kettle as well. And you might be a bit surprised at the amount of power that these use, particularly this ice maker at different times in its cycle, and the kettle overall, which uses an awful lot of power. In the meantime, do let me know if there's any questions by putting any questions in the comments. Hopefully these videos are helpful, and I'll make some more soon.